The literacy tutoring plan project is part of the requirement for the W Fort alternative. The W Fort alternative has been approved by the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, and ultimately, you will have in your student file an electronic copy of a completed rubric that lists the five big areas of reading plus a comprehensive plan and a reflection. So far in Exed 681, you have completed two sections of the W Ford alternative rubric. I will send to you individually your graded W Ford alternative rubric. The two sections that you have already completed are the phonemic awareness quiz, the minimum criterion was 80% accuracy, and you have completed the phonics quiz, the minimum criterion was 80% accuracy. In the upcoming weeks of our course, we will dedicate work time, class time, writing time to the remaining areas assessed on the W4 alternative rubric. The first topic is the fluency instructional plan, and we will have class time to write a fluency instructional plan. Then you will have about two weeks to make any changes or adjustments before that plan is due on Canvas. Next, we will write a data-based vocabulary lesson plan. Again, we will use class time to write the lesson plan, and you will have about two weeks to make changes and submit that lesson plan on Canvas. Third is the reading comprehension strategy instruction. You'll have class time to write a plan. You will actually demo part of your strategy instruction in class, and then you'll have time to make any changes to the written plan before you upload it on Canvas. The final thing that you'll have class time to work on is considered comprehensive instruction, and the project is called Tutoring Lesson Plan. We'll have class time on May 5th to put together our tutoring lesson plans, and my suggestion is that you put together your tutoring lesson plan by using the three lesson plans that you've developed at separate points in time in the class. The three plans on fluency is one, vocabulary is two, and comprehension is three. So you'll be able to use each of those three plans toward your tutoring lesson plan. Now there are two additional pieces and I'll show what those are. But again, I have um, that recommendation that you take what you're working on in each week of the class and compile it for this comprehensive plan. What that means is that by the end of the semester, you'll be able to put the work that you've developed, had evaluated, had feedback on, um, into the comprehensive plan, which is due officially May 16th, along with a reflection where you'll reflect on the process of planning and you'll reflect on your implementation of at least one or two of the lessons that you planned in the tutoring lesson plan. Some recommendations that I have are that you first select a single student, a pair of students, or a small group of students for whom you will plan all of your lessons for the tutoring lesson plan project. It's helpful if you pick students who have literacy related IEP goals. For those of you who are teaching in 
middle school science or secondary math or some sort of setting where you aren't directly implementing literacy instruction, you'll still plan all five lessons, but you'll be expected to teach at least one or two of the lessons that you plan. For example, that lesson might focus on vocabulary in science, vocabulary in math. You might do a read aloud related to a math topic. So you'll still be able to implement to some extent lessons that you plan, but the bulk of this project is on planning individualized literacy instruction. Use the lesson plans that you develop in class for fluency, vocabulary, comprehension toward that final literacy tutoring plan project. Prepare so that you can come to class on March 10th, 21st, April 7th, and May 5th. Those are the dates that when we come to class, we will devote a chunk of class time to actually writing and developing the lesson plans or projects that you'll submit. So you'll have work time in class, you'll have the chance to get immediate feedback, you'll have examples and models so that you can use that evening class time to get a bulk of the work done toward beating the projects that are evaluated on the W4 alternative rubric and that contribute to the um, comprehensive literacy plan project. The rubric for the Literacy Tutoring Plan is linked on Canvas. For the W4 alternative, you're required to get a score of at least 16 out of 20 on the rubric. The components that are evaluated on this rubric are really the individual lessons that you develop. There will be five lessons in the Literacy Tutoring Plan. One of the lessons is called word study, and that can be your data-based vocabulary instruction, that can be phonics or phonemic awareness instruction. The next lesson is on reading fluency. The next is on reading comprehension. The next is on writing about reading. And the final one listed here is a read aloud. Now you'll see from the example that's linked on Canvas that this teacher candidate compiled the literacy tutoring plan project by thinking of two students that she served. Those two students were in different grade levels. One was in sixth grade and one was in third grade. Those two students had literacy related IEP goals. She compiled the Literacy Tutoring Plan project by developing lessons that served those two students separately because she couldn't come up with and implement plans that were useful for one student across all five areas. So she made use of two students to whom she had access. The Literacy Tutoring Plan example shows that this candidate planned a read aloud that included writing about reading. So in effect, the lesson plan A under read aloud that starts on page two of the example is identical to lesson plan E, writing about reading that starts on page 19. Because not only did the student plan the read aloud, she also planned for the child she was working with to write about the story that they read. There are separate lesson plans for word study. Under word study, the focus seems to be phonics, but the way the lesson is designed, there's a connection to vocabulary under the language strand of Common Core, where the student is working on skills to increase word reading accuracy, but also word recognition and determining meaning using context. So there's an example of a word study lesson that relates to vocabulary. For a different student, a third grade student, there's an example of a fluency lesson plan that uses repeated reading and that provides a clear description of error correction feedback. 
The next and final piece is the reading comprehension lesson. The focus was on inference generation, so making an inference by using what the text says and what is known in the prior knowledge in order to state an inference. But you'll see that the lesson plan for reading comprehension focuses on inference generation and also addresses prediction, questioning, and teaches the child to use sentence starters or sentence frames to state predictions, state inferences, um, or ask questions. So there's a complete literacy tutoring plan example available on Canvas. And what you can do is um, look on this week's module or page to see where you can find the link to the literacy tutoring plan exemplar. The other place where this will always live is on Canvas under the assignments tab. When you click on the literacy lesson plan, tutoring plan project, um, I've highlighted in yellow on this slide where you can find the exemplar. Note that the due date is May 16th, which happens to be the due date for the reflection. So by May 16th, you want to have um, taken the opportunity to use all the classwork sessions to develop individual plans, use time on May 5th to refine, ultimately by May 15th, submit your lesson plans, but have the understanding that you would have already taught at least one or two of those lessons so that on May 16th, you can also submit your reflection on your implementation of this tutor tutoring plan. There are two assignments open on Canvas. One is for the tutoring plans. The second is for the reflection on your implementation of those plans. So there's a lot due on May 16th, the very end of the semester. The tutoring plan project, the reflection on your implementation of those plans, and the final exam. I pushed back individual assignment due dates to allow um, for you to come to class, make use of the work time, and then have an additional cushion to make any changes or revisions. Um, Ultimately, I will score the W4 alternative rubric using the files that you've uploaded to Canvas, and 